No matter what your stance is on the subject, AI tools aren't going anywhere and they get better every single day. We see this a lot in tons of different creative industries, but it's even more prevalent in writing. Now, since AI tools are getting so good and they're so widely available for everyone, it's really important to be able to tell what is AI writing and what is human writing. What I wanna talk about today are different ways that you can detect AI writing for yourself. I did do a video not too long ago about a bunch of different content detectors that you could use. Check out that video if you want. It goes over some of the best tools, but but here I'm going to show you exactly how they work. Now I did mention that AI tools are getting better every day, but they're far from perfect. Now the tools themselves can be absolutely fantastic and can really help boost your creativity and help you get out of a rut if you're stuck, especially when you're writing long articles. But they're not always perfect, and if you take raw AI copy and don't change any of it, it can be pretty easy to detect what is AI and what's human writing. One of the easiest ways that you can detect AI writing yourself is to look at the tone of the writing itself. AI content can be extremely inconsistent with its tone and style, while it may have a lot of information and be able to help you out, it's not always gonna follow the same tone that a writer would have. And really that's another big key giveaway is just the lack of personality. Most human writers are gonna have a style and incorporate their own verbiage when they're writing things, but that's just not something that every AI tool is gonna do. Now there are a lot of AI writers out there that can help mimic this. You can set some types of tones like cheerful, professional or whatnot but it's still kind of easy to tell if something is just robotic copy versus if a person wrote it themselves. Another really easy way to detect something if it's been written by AI is if it has a lot of repetitive language. Often a lot of AI tools will do keyword sniffing and if you see this in an article, you can really tell that it's written by AI. Now, other than trying to spot it yourself, the best way you can detect AI is by using an AI detector tool. Now there are a lot of tools as I mentioned before that can do this, but I'm gonna use GPT-0 as an example just because it's so easy to get the grasp. So here is the GPT-0 website and it's pretty easy to use. Basically, you just put in text that you want it to scan and it'll tell you how much of it is written by AI. It'll give us some prompts here that we can test. So we can do a test here with a GPT-3 prompt. It'll throw in a prompt for us and let's get results. That's all you have to do. And it's gonna tell us how likely it is to be written by AI. So this one is saying that the entirety of this article is written by AI. Also, this software only lets you do the first 5,000 characters. And if you need more access to that, you can get the paid version. But for instance, if we do something written by a human here, we get results, it'll say this is likely written by a human. It gets interesting when it's a mix. So this is a kind of a mix between AI and human. And it's gonna highlight for you which parts that are likely to be written by AI. It's very quick and easy to use. It runs through all of its AI detection algorithms, kind of snips out for some of the stuff we talked about earlier and helps you decide if something is AI or written by a person. You can also choose a file here if you want to upload a script of something that you have or a hard copy that you have as well. And then you can see if it's written by AI that way. It's pretty easy and straightforward. And that's really all there is to using these tools. So there you have it. Like I said before, AI is not going anywhere, especially when it comes to writing. They make people's lives so much easier. So it's becoming even more important every single day to be able to decide what is written by a human and what's not. I appreciate you watching this video. It means a lot. Before you go though, like this video if you did and leave a comment letting us know what you think of AI writing. It's a very interesting subject and we'll see you in the next video.